This is Nanitol. but yeah um, so here I am where am I tell me where am I um, <laughs> I'm being camera conscious and I'm looking at my phone screen I don't know why why do I do that I haven't really got an answer so far so um, wait I need to I need to do some It's a uh, it's really hard to find motivation um during these times. Uh at this point in time I I really lack motivation, like any kind of any sort of inspiration to do um do this to, to make a YouTube video or a, a vlog. Um, while, while I was coming up the hill, but now it's decent. It's um, hey, I'm the target. I hope you can see the lake because I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see shit. Um, Okay, cool. Alright, this would be much rather much better. Um, getting a lot of attention here for shooting this video. So why am I doing this, huh? Why am I making this video? To be, um, to be honest, I, I could not fit in anything that I that I um, that I tried to do. I just couldn't fit in. So I'm doing this, encapsulating everything. I believe I can encapsulate everything in it. Exercise pain. Exercise with people. I mean, kind of. The eyes are too bright, man. Shit. So the first rule of making a YouTube video, anyone who is who is preparing to start a new YouTube channel, don't think about what others think of you, or don't think about what people might be thinking of you while you're shooting, you know, a video. Don't make eye contact with people. They're definitely going to be like giving you some kind of attention because you have like a camera uh, in your hand and you're talking to the camera. So uh, that's there. Look at this view. So first rule is do do not give a shit about what, you know, and I'm still not looking at the camera. Yeah, do not give a shit. Uh, just do your work, explore, talk, um, 
focus, okay? You gotta focus on what you're trying to accomplish. It's very easy to, to, to be distracted and to not pay attention. So, yeah, it's all on you. It's always has been. You gotta try harder and harder. And yeah, you gotta, you gotta really, you, you really have to work hard. That's the way to progress. Work hard. Put a lot of effort into what you're doing. Okay? Cool. So I'll be having a lot of uncanny ruminations. I'll be talking a lot because I... Um, oh, but well, that looks great. You see that? So nice up there. Yeah, that. I think this was made during the colonial period. I can be wrong, that's there. But the best part of today is it's, there are a very less, a very few tourists. It's, it's amazing to see how empty the roads are. See? No one. No one except for me. I'm just kidding. A lot of people come here. This is Nanital. It's um, cold enough to chill my bones. I think I might end up narrating this whole sequence because I'm, 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 I'm terrible at this. Like I'm, I'm genuinely ter terrible at this. got crashed so I luckily saved by the rickshaw um yeah it's since Charlotte it's been my one of my favorite destinations to be in I never traveled that much so that's there this is tiring this is actually tiring and it's uh it's, it, my hand is hurting. I'm, I'm, I just got here and I can't hold the camera anymore. I can't. <laughs> it's great. I am in the market area. And... Uh, okay.
There are more advertisements than shops and people all together, so that's kind of creepy. You know? A shady area. Be careful. Right. the hell that is but it looks good so this is the Tibetan market that I'm about to enter Thandi Sadak, which means gold road. Uh, there's a reason behind calling it that, and that is it's really cold here. But mm, I've spent a considerable amount of time here, and very fruitful, I would say. Yeah. I would come here to understand my own views about life, of life. Uh, handling this camera is it's not an easy job to find. What do I do? You tell me. Like, it's my first time doing this video vlog. To be awesome at it, I can't expect of myself to, to, you know, be the best at it. I want to be better at it. So, as time passes by, perhaps I'll be, you know? Okay, it's striking me now. It's a beautiful place to be at because of how alone this road is. It's, uh, it's very less, less amount of traffic. So, yeah, you could just be on your own and think whatever the hell you want to think. Not care. travel the world when I can't even shoot this video properly so that's going to be a I don't know it's gonna be a task and here I'm thinking about traveling the world so I can't
can't even manage this camera. This is crazy, man. Like, it's not tracking me. It's... Hold on. The arch. So long. Okay. So... I did a lot of walking. I think I, I must have done around 10 kilometers now. I do feel a little tired. I got something on my back to recover, rejuvenate, energize my body. So, yeah. Okay, I'll eat now. I did pray here when I was sick as hell. beg for some mercy from God. I had like a throat pain for six months straight. I thought it was because of, because I was smoking cigarettes. But um, yeah, probably. Perhaps I went to the doctor, he said it's nothing. That is neurological. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. But the cardiologist, he, he did tell me that all the heartache, all everything related Every problem that I was having related to the heart was because of my mind. So you see, your mind can trick your body uh, in so many ways. You can bleed your intestines just by this. So there is that. Uh, so yeah, I prayed at that temple to, uh, you know, pray to God that if he could help me with uh, my throat pain and well now it's 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 gone I don't have throat pain anymore uh, so yeah thanks to God for that I don't know something I feel something strange today because nobody is you know like staring or uh, not you know giving me that kind of eye by the way yeah um, so it's it's great. I feel so free. I feel uh, I feel like I could just talk without you know disturbance or distraction. Thinking of doing my masters or getting that PhD that I never got. So um, I could definitely give lectures here while traveling the world. You know. So I have to get a tripod for this. Um, I have to get a tripod for this cam camera because my hand is destroyed. I, I don't think if I could lift my hand anymore, you know, it's so painful. Uh, yeah. So, uh, a bit messy right here, so let's see. So, you see people playing football. I might get hit just any time now, so yeah, there's that. There are so many people playing football that I can't. I can't get hit from anywhere, so there is that.
Finally, I'd be able to do this now. Rather than thinking about what I need to s say in front of the camera, I rather, I just got an idea that why, why don't I just report whatever is coming inside my head? You know, that way, yeah. I'm going to report whatever is coming inside my head. And I was thinking about scripting my video log, but I think that's a terrible idea. I, I, I don't work I work better when when it's impromptu when it's not scripted so there's mall area over there that side is the mall area Come on, <laughs> Can't do it, man. Crazy. It's crazy. I've actually got nothing in my mind to report. So that's uh, that's that. I can't think of anything that's exciting, interesting. Do I don't know. Tell details. So yeah, that's a wrap about my travel here. <laughs> no, it's not. Hold on. You've got to wait a little longer, so. That is what I was trying to show. It's like, it's like the Undertaker is going to come from there. You know what I'm saying? Like the Undertaker is going to come from that, that area over there. Yeah, right there. Whew. I am kind of tired now. Uh, I've always had this sense of alienation in my own society, you know? Like, it's, uh, it's something you shouldn't have, but I did. I do. Uh, like, since the beginning, I don't know, <laughs> since I started to, since I, since I was aware, I would say, when I got conscious, <laughs> like when I was aware of what was going on around me, I realized that there's this staring problem, you know, that there's, I don't know whether it was because of, because of the way I am, the way I speak, or whoever I am, 
or the way I walk or I don't know but that was this problem I it was like it was almost like I had to hide you know I had to wear a cap I had to wear these because uh, I didn't want to make eye contact with people but yeah that was this staring problem but now now I can tell you that I'm done with that uh, I don't care I don't No, I'm not affected by it. I, I just am not. I mean, the point is, why should you care? You know? At the end of the day, it's all about you. Right? Right now I'm blank, so I can't. I'm not. I'm not coming up with any good ideas. But as soon as I'm home, I'm going to be very regretful, and yeah, whatever. So, yep. We send her in.
You gotta like and subscribe, okay? You gotta like and subscribe, that's what I said. All right, there are the cops. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I gotta go. All right, I gotta go. People must be thinking I'm insane. Maybe I am. Maybe... Oops! Maybe I am insane. So what? The world's insane. Alright, that was too much, I think. Okay, gotta go. Bye, bye. Check this out. Hey, you! <laughs> it's crazy. I thought it was a joke. I, I, I definitely did think it was a joke. See you later! See you later! Alright! Okay.